Hello, guys. Uh, welcome to the Witness Without Identity. Today, I'm going to talk about the situation with Matt Gates. Matt Gates uh, is responding to the sex traffic allegation, and he was on Tucker Carlson. He was discussing it. I'm going to do half of it, and we're going to uh, discuss the first half, and uh, hopefully, uh, uh, hopefully, everything will be okay. So, um, I, I want you guys to um, like listen to what Tucker Carlson was uh, saying to Matt Gates. Uh, uh, because it might get looked pretty suspicious in that interview. Take a look at it. Just a couple of hours ago, late this afternoon, the New York Times ran a story saying that Florida Congressman Matt Gates is under federal investigation for playing some role in sex trafficking potentially having a relationship with a 17-year-old girl. There are very few details in major news outlets tonight about this story. We have no background on it all and not even any very informed questions. Instead, we've invited Congressman Gates on the show to respond to these stories and give us his view of them. Congressman, thanks so much for coming on. I appreciate it. Um, so this is obviously a serious allegation. Tell us what the truth is from your perspective. It is a horrible allegation, and it is a lie. The New York Times is running a story that I have traveled with a 17-year-old woman, and that is verifiably false. People can look at my travel records and see that that is not the case. What is happening is an extortion of me and my family involving a former Department of Justice official. On March 16th, my father got a text message demanding a meeting wherein a person demanded $25 million in exchange for making horrible sex trafficking allegations against me go away. Our family was so troubled by that, we went to the local FBI. And the FBI and the Department of Justice were so concerned about this attempted extortion of a member of Congress that they asked my dad to wear a wire, which he did with the former Department of Justice official. Tonight, I am demanding that the Department of Justice and the FBI release the audio recordings that were made under their supervision and at their direction, which will prove my innocence and that will show that these allegations are true. They're merely intended to try to bleed my family out of money. And this former Department of Justice official tomorrow was supposed to be contacted by my father so that specific instructions could be given regarding the wiring of $4.5 million as a down payment on this bribe. I don't think it's a coincidence that tonight, somehow, the New York Times is leaking this information, smearing me and ruining the investigation that would likely result in a, one of the former colleagues of the current DOJ being brought to justice for trying to extort me and my family. So a, a couple of obvious questions that come to mind, and again, just to restate, this just happened, don't have any other information beyond what we've already said and you have said. Um, who, first of all, who is this Department of Justice former employee who's trying to extort the money from you, you said? His name is David McGee. He was a top official in the leadership in the Northern District of Florida as a prosecutor. He currently works at the Beggs and Lane Law Firm. As a matter of fact, one of the recordings that was made at the FBI and Department of Justice request occurred at that law firm. And the money that was supposed to be paid today that would have shown even more evidence of David McGee's work in this extortion scheme, but that was foiled by the New York Times story, and I believe that's why this uh, this horrible information and these terrible allegations have been used this evening. Uh, so, yeah, so you see, uh, Matt Gates is, is giving the name of somebody that he, be he believes is doing this to him, D David McGee. Uh, okay, so like, uh, <laughs> like this... Uh, so yeah it's getting interesting you know and, and nobody's dropping this and uh the thing about gates is that we want th this is the bottom line what we what we want to see uh we want to see if gates will be able to get get away with this just like uh, uh a main, like a donald trump has been able to get away with many things uh, you know people came after donald trump no uh, and he, he always gets away with anything like he uh I mean, Donald Trump uh, was impeached twice. Uh, and uh, I mean, they tried to impeach him, but he was never convicted by the Senate. 
uh, Donald Trump uh, with the taxes. They never was able to get him while he was in office. You know, he gets away with anything. You know, the, he killed five people with the insurrection. No, nothing happened. No. So Trump trumps everything for now. But here, the, 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 uh, my guess is trying to follow the Trump playbook and, and deny it all the, all the way. And let's see what happened, guys. I don't know. This is a crazy thing. This sex trafficking 17 year old girl. Um, I don't understand with those guys, man. It's like they're taking those big chances. Like, you know, like, you know, like it's not like Gates cannot get a woman. I mean, I don't understand, but whatever. He's, uh, he's, he, so if this thing is true, he might end up in jail, guys. This is different. This is not like, uh, prostitution. This is a sex trafficking of a minor. Sex trafficking of a minor is a very, very, uh, grief. Uh, it's a very important, uh, uh, infraction. So I'm going to watch this thing. Hopefully, I keep you guys updated. And please subscribe to my channel. It's called the Witness Without Identity channel, guys. I, I, I don't know where this thing is going to go. By the way, also, I'm going to have a part two of this video. Part two. Okay? Thank you.